Hello everyone, this is Adam and Antoine. We are here because Final Fantasy VII Rebirth has a new trailer and we are super excited to go through and watch it and see what we can see. What are you talking about? And they have this the thing. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Oh, buggy, yeah, yeah. But the yeah, thing- Yeah, the buggy, uh... yeah. So the buggy, if you recall, is at the uh, coral prison when you escape the coral prison. If I escape, mm -hmm. and that's probably over there. It. Yeah, and the buggy allows you to cross, to go faster on land, of course, and cross very shallow rivers. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not sure how they'll handle that in this one because I don't think there's a big overworld in the same way. But uh, nice that it's there. See your and there the chocobos. <laughs> Yeah, no, and then they have, and, and like you were wondering, they have obviously the different breeds, you know, so the, the, I guess the black chocobos can climb at least, and the green chocobos which one, can climb. Which one, which one was it that, uh, <clears throat> the, the last one that you needed to go get the uh, material of the Knight of the Table? That was gold, so they, they had uh, the... In the original one, the blue chocobos could cross water, the green chocobos, yeah. I think, could cross mountains, the black chocobos could cross both, and then the gold chocobo could cross ocean, if I remember correctly. I don't remember. Yeah, okay. I didn't recall that one of them could fly, but okay. No, I don't think one of them could fly, but I think I think the idea here is that uh, the green chocobo was the one that could cross mountains, and I think they're just arguing that the green chocobo here flies, and that's how he crosses the mountains, so which is kind of weird, because traditionally the black chocobos are the ones that fly. So... Yeah. Uh, but I'm sure yeah, this I'm one could probably uh, fly, too. I don't know. I'm, ju I'm just looking at the... Ba um, uh, sorry. <clears throat> I'm just looking at the background, and I see that here you are back with the lighthouse and the ship graveyard. Yeah, you're in the same place. And in the previous one, you I saw some kind of a structure in the background, yeah, there's some kind of like mine or something. Yeah, so I guess it's around Cosmo Canyon because it still looks like quite hot. Uh, Maybe it is Cosmo Canyon. Could be, or it could be no. coral. Hard to say. Because nah. both of them were kind of deserty. Uh, uh oh, there's something uh, over there on what? the left there. Oh, I know it's Tatooine. No, it's not, uh, <laughs> wrong franchise. Yes, it's definitely no, Tatooine. Do... Hmm? <laughs> no, but it does look like. Uh, some kind of settlement, but yeah. doesn't look for fl flashy enough to be Cosmo Canyon. I, I guess for just random, random settlement. Yeah, I think it's just a random whatever. settlement, or it could be coral. Hard to say. Maybe since we're yeah. our best chance of finding Segway. Yeah, I, uh, I ask because I suspect there's soldiers suffering from cellular degradation. Uh, Do not. I don't recall this. So this is apparently, I had to look this up. So this guy, I can't remember his name, but if you watch it on YouTube, it does the captions and it'll say the name of who's speaking during the captions. And it says his name. He's not in the original Final Fantasy game. He is from, I guess it's one of the books. Uh, and it's called Traces of Past. I guess there's Traces of, I don't remember what it's called. Traces of Tifa, Traces of Ares. I don't know. Um, but it's a, it's a book. And in the book, it's Tifa and Eris, uh, Aerith, sorry, and they are Ooh. talking about their past. Yeah. And apparently, Tifa, one of the things that she says is that when she was very young, you know, it goes about like how she met her master and learned Gong Fu and kind of her relationship with Cloud when they were young and how that all worked out. And so apparently, after, uh, after Sephiroth stabbed her, she was gravely wounded. And so her master took her to this guy. So this is the guy that basically took care of her immediately after she got stabbed by Sephiroth. Okay, because I was thinking of, uh, in the original Final Fantasy, I'm thinking of two scientists. Of course, uh, Iris' father, that uh, you, you see his house uh, in the north just before doing some snowboard. And the second one would be, well, in... Um, uh, what's the name of the city which can have fall into the uh, river of life where uh, cloud deal is... yeah there uh and of course the one who experiment experimented on red 13 in midgar jojo Mijo, Ojo, Kujo, yeah. 
Hojo. Yeah, thank you. So I was thinking it says Hojo with uh, with some clo- uh, some clones. No, it's definitely not Hojo because Hojo's got the long black hair. But uh, yeah, apparently he's from the books and he's the guy that kind of took care of uh, of uh, Tifa when she after you know she got attacked by Sephiroth. And also in the book he is in Coral, so this should be taking place in Coral, assuming he is in the same place that he is, you know, five okay. years ago. So this is probably because of the, okay because of the dark robots that we were in Nibelheim. They're That's all over the place. We, yeah, but originally you only met them there for the first time. Uh, you met a few of them in Midgar before you left. In the original game. Yeah, you know, like the this guy are sick. Remember? Have you ah, heard of that one? That, okay, that guy okay, was okay, he was a yeah. yeah he was wearing the robes. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, so you see a few of them before that. You know why? So I guess, and then one of them turns into Sephiroth or about hallucinates Sephiroth because this is still in the doctor's office. In fact, the doctor's standing right there behind him, so he's having a freak out, and everyone's just standing around. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Big Garzalem, and then this is the boss thing you fight right after Mr. Dolphin, or is it right before Mr. Dolphin? And then we get some combo attacks. So yeah, here we see uh, Yuffie and Barrett doing a combo attack, and Aerith and Mog. Catchy. That looks fantastic. And then Cloud and Sephiroth doing a combo attack. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> ah, it's a little look of contempt. I know. Like, it's just so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you uh, if you know a bit Warhammer 40k, that's how I, I imagine Full Grim. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they show some of the summons here. So we get yeah, we get Alexander obviously, and then we get uh, Odin and Kajada. I think was the name of it. Uh, so we see those three summons. Yeah, it was the um, mm-hmm. it's like the Bull of Heaven, something like that. Uh, but uh, he was in Final Fantasy VII. I think you got him when you went to, I don't remember exactly where you, I think you got him when you first hmm. went to City of the Ancients and then you like left the mining town or something like that. And he was like, there was like, it was, I, for, in my mind, I remember it being a pig, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I, maybe I'm remembering wrong. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, we see I've those done. summons. I've also heard that uh, some of the summons will be continue, uh, will be coming back. Like I think they said Shiva and Ramu. Are gonna come back. That, they were in. That's a that's yeah. a classic. You can't really, you know, the, the holy trinity, right? Yeah. Sh- Shiva Ramu Ifrit. Yeah, that was one of the weird things is that they said uh, if you they're not there's no carryover data, so any data you have from Final Fantasy VII remake will not carry over into Rebirth. Rebirth starts entirely over. Um, but then they said that Shiva and Ramu will come back. So I don't know if those two come back if you've completed. The first game, or if they just come back automatically, but there was no mention of Ifrit apparently, or Ifrit. There was no mention of. So hmm. I don't know if Ifrit will come back. Uh, and moving on, Gold Saucer. Was it, easy? Hmm? was it easy for you to get Alexander in the original game? I don't remember it's how you get lo- him. Is the material lost in the middle of the mountain? You have to wander the mountain until you find it in the snow. That was horrible. <laughs> Getting Alexander in FF7 was horrible, really. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't remember how you got uh, Alexander, so I can remember it. Yep. So they're all excited. This was a battle square. Oh, do you? Yeah, Adrian, this is the guy from, uh, this is the guy who dresses Cloud up, so apparently he made his way all mm-hmm. the way over to Gold Saucer. Mm-hmm. Oh, but, oh, yeah, because originally there was the owner of the battle square is uh yeah is it the same guys in new because uh i don't remember ah okay because in the original game tifa and iris dress up uh cloud but and you yeah. met this guy for the first time in gold saucer didn't realize you met you meet him in the midgar but dio is the owner of the battle square at least maybe the whole oh, is he? Yeah, yeah yeah oh, okay. he's the one who uh, uh you, you meet remember when um uh barrett of course, we don't. It's not him, but makes a massacre in front of the battle square, and just next to it, you see you have this kind of little museum piece with a key, and Vaguely. that's where you meet him. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, that's that, that's why you meet you meet him. And same, you know, it's big squares, but you see him like completely half naked and all, and he's there. Oh, what happened here? 
That's good. That's good. That's very fun. I love this character. It's been so long. I need to play Final Fantasy VII, the original one again. Um, but yeah, and then one thing that, and then this guy, which is obviously part of some kind of show too. But uh, one thing I noticed was here we see Yuffie, obviously, she's dressed up. But then in the background, mm -hmm. we can see Aerith right there on the right, and we can see Tifa mm -hmm. on the left. But they're not dressed up. So I'm kind of wondering what's going on here that Yuffie's dressed up, but they are not. Mm. So you went on a you went on a date with Yuffie. Yeah, so I'm wondering if uh you know, because yeah, they do get dressed up when they do the stage thing, right? And have to do the play. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if uh this is part of that. And so like, you know, th this is just showing what happens if Yuffie gets picked because then she gets to dress up. So I'm wondering if the other two get dressed up or if it's only gonna be Yuffie. So I'm uh, I'm kinda curious I what the what's going on here. I want to I want you to see Barrett get, being getting picked. Maybe he will. Maybe he will. I got that trophy on uh <laughs> when I when I played I played right before remake came out, I played the original Final Fantasy Seven and and I got the trophy for that yeah. one. I made sure I had to get that trophy. The harder the hardest one to get, if I recall, was Ares. Because of what happens, you need to get her from the start and never let her out of your party. Actually, that was one of the debates that people often had was that they said if you uh, cause it's all based on basically a relationship stat and people would say that actually Aerith ha starts with a higher relationship stat than Tifa does. And so a lot of people would argue that, oh, because she starts with the higher stat to begin with, she is the canon girl, but actually that's because you get Aerith much later than you get Tifa. So if, so Tifa starts lower, but by the time you would get Aerith, Tifa, uh, can be up to that level. And I think if you count up the total amount of points, I think Tifa has a higher total. Um, but yeah, but yeah. yeah. Really, yeah. But uh, er, I, I think Barrett's actually Tifa. the hardest one because you basically have to ignore Tifa and Aerith. Yes. Uh, but basically, yeah, you need to get Barrett when you get out of, Cal of uh, Midgard to go to Calm. Get, uh, get all the girls in a different group. Yeah. So yeah, I'm curious what's going on there. But, yeah. But then no healer, so good luck. Chocobo racing. Oh, uh, sorry. I think maybe that guy we saw with uh, stuff. Maybe that's the uh, Dio, the owner of Gold, Gold Saucer. Yeah, I would assume this guy is the owner of the Gold Saucer because because this guy is Adrian. He's the guy who owns Honeybee yeah. Inn in Sector uh, Five. Okay, Sector Five, Sector so, Six. So okay, so I imagine the other one is Dio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this this one here is probably Dio. Probably him. All right, and then we got our Chocobo racing, which is exciting. So yeah, I'm, I'm I didn't think that they would add it, but uh, they they are. So we have that, and then we have but the then, um, this thing. Do you think do you think you will have some fast uh, fast travel between Gold Saucer and uh, Chocobo Ranch because this is a race thing is mainly because you need to get certain stats on your Chocobo to get the higher color of Chocobos, and you need to go back and forth to to the stables. I don't think they will. Uh, I think they'll just have a stable in the gold saucer because I mean the the new structure of it is that chapter based thing. Um, ah, so true. so I think because of the new chapter, the way it's set up with chapters, I think uh, that'll be. But yeah, I don't know because uh, yeah, I don't know if uh, you'll be able to go back and forth or if you'll only be able to do gold saucer at one section of the game and then it's gone after that. Yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see how open it is in that regard. But yeah, we see all the so we saw the chocobo racing. We see I, I don't remember what this game was called, but uh, I remember it and I, I hated it because it was basically just rock, paper, scissors. Um, <laughs> we see G bikes, so that's cool. It's cute, it's cute that they, they made the same polygons as in, in the original game. <laughs> I like that they did that, yeah. That's a nice little throwback right there. They use yeah. the same polygons.